Glamorous girls are obsessed with the color pink, or at least I am. I wanted to get uber creative and do something different, transforming this 22 inch unit into this colorful, gorgeous layered bob. I'm ready to have fun, so let's go play. Check the timestamps if you wanna skip around, but girl, let's get into it. In 2022, you don't have to worry about plucking your hairline. You can do other things. You can have more fun. And so I wanted to create a rectangular shaped section. And this is where I am going to, you know, create the colorful vibes. So I've already prepared my bleach mixture. For this process, I used 30 volume developer. And what I will say is I knew I was probably going to have to do this entire process twice in order to lift the color on this unit you guys can see it's visibly darker so it's a little bit darker than your standard natural color but still i'm like you know i'm game i'm ready for it and this is the color that i ended up with the first round what do y'all think about this now i didn't want to use 40 volume developer because again i was being a little cautious and 30 is like the perfect medium for me so again i'm just repeating this process hoping to get the section lighter which i did And I also noticed with this particular unit, the knots towards the front were bleached well, but I did have to go in and use some of that same bleach mixture to go in and place it on the interior of the cap to bleach those knots. Wasn't happy about doing it, but since I'm bleaching the hair already, might as well. Now, you know, I like pink. I'm obsessed with pink. Like if you didn't know, now you know. And so I'm combining these two colors. And at first I used about half of the bottle, but honestly, again, I noticed I was gonna have to repeat this process. Yeah. And I'm using the watercolor method because I think it's easier. It's honestly a lot less mess, a lot less time consuming. And I think it's more beginner friendly. And with the watercolor method, you know, the less water you use, the better because you are not diluting your color. So I think this works best for me. Make sure that your mixture is uniform. Now, when I first did it, it was giving like a reddish color. And that typically happens unless you're working with like 613 or if you lift the color of the hair substantially. And now as promised, I did this process twice. I just used the remaining portion of the dye in the bottles, went in for a second round to create an even more vibrant color. What's crazy about this is that I actually wore a unit that's similar to this color, this makeup back in 2017. It's so crazy how trends just like, they come back. Like they were popular at a certain time and all they do is just resurface. But I'm applying some heat protection to the hair because I am going to go in and blow dry this unit. But I did allow this unit ample time to dry overnight because I knew I was going to curl it. And I am not going to play around with a unit that is slightly damp in the slightest. It needs to be completely dry. But look at the gorgeous color. Like, I did that. Like, it looks a little red, like deep magenta, but it's giving. I like my units to be incredibly comfortable and I definitely wanted to go in and remove the combs that are on the left and right sides using a seam ripper. I show this process throughout some of my videos, but honestly, if you want your unit on flat, flat, and you don't have time for the ball cap method, remove the combs, you will notice such a difference. And it won't snag at your edges, your hairline, or your crown. And I'll have a seam ripper linked in the description box if you all are interested. And for me, I love trimming the lace around the ear tabs before I go in to install the unit. Okay, now tell me, what do y'all think about the color? Like for me, it's giving the lace is a little bit tinted, but I don't care. I don't care. 
I knew, you know, I gave y'all the bust down middle part in the last video. So I said, let me do a little bit of side part action. And I'm using rubber bands to figure out the exact length or where I want to trim the hair. Human hair cuts so much better than synthetic hair. So if you're used to working on synthetic hair, it's so much easier with human hair, but be careful and be as precise as possible. I would rather cut the unit longer then cut it at a shorter length because you can always take away hair you can't put it back once you cut it did a little bit of layering i didn't really show the process here but honey i layered the hell out of this unit like y'all saw the intro And I just love that I'm ready to play and have fun. If it's not for you, that's fine, but <laughs> this is my channel, it's for me. And I just love that so many of you are open to me just experimenting and exploring my creativity to the fullest. Now I had to go in and do some curls. I'm curling away from the face, which is really, really important. And perhaps maybe I should do a live stream about how to curl hair, which I think, oh, an idea, a concept. Let me know. because of the texture I definitely wanted to allow the curls time to set that's why you see me misting them with some hold spray just to ensure I have the tightest curls possible because they will drop what colors would you guys like to see me wear like I hate dying hair like I hate bleaching hair I hate that it's the word like I just don't but I know you know I gotta give y'all some looks, so let me know in the comment section. Now, I already started making a mistake here. I started trimming the lace before I went in to tint it with my Ebony New York spray. Again, highly recommend this. It works wonders and honestly, it's a lot easier to do than powder. Do a few mist and you're done. You have an even color payoff. So I highly recommend it. I have it linked in the description box. But you guys have seen me install units. It's not really so much about the installation method here. It's more so about styling. And as always, I'm gonna do some adult swoops, you know, minimal, make it look cute. I don't wanna do too much. The color is already doing the absolute most. And once I beat the face, you start to get, you know, the full effect. Now, I definitely played around with my makeup. I was experimenting, but you know, here I have just the plain brows, but y'all saw the little, you know, pink brow coming in. But honey, I love curls when I do a bob. Now it's important to fluff the curls and then use a rake comb to really get the curls flowing in the right direction. Oh my God, look, girl, come on, I did that. I'm feeling the curls. This is giving me like a little bit of Keisha Cole vibes back when she used to wear the blonde. Y'all remember? But I'm gonna show you the bust down doobie coming very, very soon. Hey. 
first of all i did that you know what i'm saying but i also wrapped this hair because i knew i'm like let me switch up my brows let me wrap it let's do the doobie vibes because i want to preserve the curls and you know honestly this is a lot easier wrap your hair at night wrap your wig at night okay honestly wrapping your wig just makes life so much easier and you can go outside with it wrapped i do that i did that one thing about it, i don't care so it looks cute in my opinion i love the look the allure it is stunning you still get some bump in the hair you get the volume and you know just a few slight touches and you're good to go but one thing about this unit i noticed the curls did fall so Now, do you guys like the curls or do you like the bust down doobie? Because the doobie is a little bit more subdued. But this unit is gorgeous. I love it. Y'all let me know in the comment section how did I do. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more looks, sis. I appreciate the love on these videos. You guys are awesome and slay the day any way that you see fit. The world is yours, honey.